great construction feat along the along the Oregon coast in those days and uh, it was a terrific undertaking because they had to uh, use a conveyance to bring them to the rock from the ocean and they used breeches buoys in the early days to transfer people back and forth but the rock itself is about a mile and a quarter offshore and to build a lighthouse there was a terrific undertaking and the men that built it of course were people who had a great uh, experience in that type of construction but they were fighting the forces of nature all the time you know which kept battering the rock all the time supplies were slow in coming. They suffered a great deal before they could actually build the lighthouse itself. But uh, down through the years it has always been considered one of the most uh, difficult lighthouses to equip and attend to and women were never allowed out there. It was strictly a men's uh, job and uh, I, I think that one of the main problems was that the way the rock was split that the southeast storms would come in and erupt like a, a volcano and um, oftentimes when the uh, sea was that high which uh, the lighthouse was over a hundred feet above sea level but when the breakers would come in and crash down on the lighthouse it was just like a small earthquake how the light has stood there all these years is somewhat of a mystery, but it's uh, well locked into the basaltic rock that is, it is constructed on. And uh, though they've had many problems, including rocks being thrown into the lantern house, breaking the lens and breaking the uh, outer glass and flooding the inside of the lighthouse when the uh, panes have been breached and the storms have been predominant and all kinds of repairs made to the lighthouse but it stood the, the test of time and has become one of the well-known monoliths along the coast here someday maybe those granite blocks will give in I was 25 years old when I was first assigned to the lighthouse I had put in, I wasn't a very good uh, military person and I had put in for the most isolated duty I could think of and so I uh, put down on my request to go to Scotch Cap, Alaska which was very near where Siberia is in the farthest western lighthouse on the coast but unfortunately I was the only young man assigned to the lighthouse and the one before me was the first but he went stir out there and so rather than send me to Scotch Cap they sent me to Tillamook to replace him and took turns we, we took our um, our light watch around the clock eight hours and then we took our turn doing the cooking in the kitchen <laughs> which I was totally unqualified <laughs> which because of my inadequacy as a as a cook I was almost thrown off the rock by the other keepers because I was just a young man at the time and the other keepers were seasoned old uh, veterans that had been in the service for years and were under the old US uh, lighthouse service and converted over to the Coast Guard when when the uh, lighthouse service was closed down so I was an enigma you might say and it was hard for them to get used to me but once they did they became very good friends of mine 
but it was it was lonely duty, and I'd always been around people all my life, and suddenly live a life when you had restrictions like that was a real changeover. And they had a standing rule out there that no light keeper was allowed to go in another light keeper's quarters on or off duty unless it being invited. And so it was a very restrictive life, but one where you learn to communicate uh, with God and with nature because it's in its natural form. And uh, it was an experience I'll never forget, though it was, I thought, many times of jumping off the rock when I first got out of there. Severe storms hit, because as I mentioned before, it not only shook the place like a small earthquake, but the uh, fog trumpet was going hours at a time and it reverberated through the lighthouse, of course, and it's hard to sleep or hard to even think when that blast was going on in the diaphragm horn. So it was a, it was a real experience to live an isolated life. I went back to the lighthouse uh, 10 years after I had uh, left my duty out there and I couldn't believe what happened in the lighthouse because it was abandoned by the Coast Guard uh, in the uh, 1960s and uh, it was left to itself and it became just a shambles with all the plaster falling off the walls and mildew everywhere and the, the lens was moved and taken to a museum somewhere but uh, it was sad to see the demise of a lighthouse from a distance. It doesn't look so bad, but it became the home of sea lions and seals and birds, maritime birds of all kinds. And uh, it always brings back kind of a shocking memory whenever I see it.